Good morning on day three, just west of Rochester. And uh, last night I stayed with a gentleman that I met on Facebook. He's actually what's a, uh, a warm showers host, which I'm not a member of, but he invited me to stay with he and his wife and he had a great setup. He hosts a lot of, but he's a big time long distance biker himself. <clears throat> and he hosts a lot of people coming through on long distance rides and such. And he's got a great, <clears throat> excuse me, he's got a great facility in his backyard. He's built a, uh, a covered porch. He's got a shower. Um, he took me inside, they fed me. Um, yeah, it was just a, a really, really nice evening and such a, such a super nice couple and I really appreciate what they did for me. Um, they're a little off trail, about a mile or so. So this morning it was raining and windy and not great, but I took my pot time camp, uh, packing up <clears throat> and now I am riding back to the trail and today's intended target is Lions, New York where I will be camping at the local fire department so if there's anything to see between now and then I'll hop back on for an update I don't know if you saw it, but there was just a couple of turkeys there. They just wandered off into the woods. So aside from... Oh, there they are. They're still there. There's a little turkey. Oops. I can't steer my bike. There he is. Hey, Tom. I don't want him to attack me. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> aside from uh, the standard water birds that you see along the way herons and a couple of gulls and stuff that's kind of the first out of the ordinary um wildlife i've seen no deer or anything like that a few squirrels you know but that's pretty much it kind of quiet i stopped a few minutes ago and got lunch had a nice warm bowl of chicken noodle soup which was really good, followed by a gelato, because I guess I needed to negate all that good warmness with something cold. Um, and it's pretty chilly out here today. It's windy as all get out. Um, luckily, the wind is mostly at my back, so I'm not having to fight it too much. This is an odd little stretch of the canal path right here that goes through this little tiny neighborhood. And I'm not sure where it picks back up by the canal, but uh, I think it goes like this for a little bit. So I see the canal, it's over to my right. But anyway. Howdy. I was wearing a shirt that said, bikes make me happy. But yeah, I've kind of struggled a little bit today with like clothing choices. So I put, oh God, this is a little rough. Um, but I'd have one, one sweater on and stuff and then I'd get a little cold and then I'd put my rain jacket on and then I'd get too hot. So I'd take the sweater off, put the rain jacket on because I'm trying to beat the wind. So I'd still get hot. So I take it off and switch back to the sweater and vice versa. I've been doing that pretty much all day. What I don't have and what I probably needed, besides smoother road than this, um, is a windbreaker. I did not bring a windbreaker. That was my bad. I don't really have one, but uh, guarantee I'll have one next time I go out. So anyway, just been struggling a little bit with finding the right clothing combination because it was sunny earlier but windy 
Now it's cloudy and windy. I haven't checked the temperature, but I think it's hovering somewhere around 50. So if it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be a bad day to ride. All right. Sign says, go across the road and you'll be back in the canal. So that's what I'm gonna do here. All right, I think we're all clear here. Close enough. So we're gonna scoot on down. Whoa. Oh, there's the trail over here. It took a hard right. All right, here we go. And it's paved again, which is nice. I do like the paved portions. They do kind of help you get through the miles a little better. I don't know how long this will last. Probably right to here. There was a big paved section near uh, Rochester this morning. And now I'm back on the crushed stone surface and yeah so i'm on my trek to lions and actually you know what let's take a peek at how far that's going to be so right now i don't know where i'm in i'm kind of west of bullis park uh, west of macedon and uh lions there's newark there's lions, so let me find out where I will be. There's the fire department. Somewhere around here, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark a spot here. Um, right there. And directions to that. So I am about 21 miles from my given location. So, a couple hours. And uh, I should be there by 4.30ish which is fine it gives me plenty of time to set up in in the still light of the day at least set up my tent and then go and forage for food and see what the lovely town of lions has to offer um, there are definitely more towns along the way on this day than i've been encountering but I'm trying not to get sidetracked because it's just, it's a long day. So I'm not trying not to get sidetracked and I'm trying to push my way through. And yeah, it'd be nice to find some smooth trail. This is a little rough, but that's okay. All right, well, I'll pick up if there's anything else to see. Otherwise, I'll check in from Lions. Well, I came up to a point where I was supposed to go across the road, but apparently this part of the trail is closed. So I'm gonna have to go down and do some road riding because apparently that's where the, the uh, detour goes down this direction. So, thank you. So I gotta go down here and hang a left and then uh, pick up the trail a little bit further down. I'm not crazy about riding on the roads not my cup of tea so i'm going to turn my lights on my tail lights and my headlights and then go jump into traffic so hooray always a fun time all right well if you're going to ride the trail just look out for this uh, this detour because it's here and there ain't no other way around it okay i did uh safely manage the detour it dumps you back in just before the town of Palmyra and there's a, a park there that you kind of come into and just keep to the left you'll see signs there and it'll put you back on the trail if you are going to be doing this I don't know how long the detour is going to last so anyway I am back on the trail my GPS was a little befuddled but now it's happy I think so Anyway, still many miles to go before. Oh, okay, hang on. Um, this is not the trail, or is it? Where the hell is the trail? That's not the trail. Okay, so that's not the trail. I believe the trail came up this way, and I may not have been looking. So let's see, that's the water trail. How nice. 
Let's see if this is trail this way. Where the hell is the trail? I see a trail up there to the north. I wonder if that's the trail. That is the trail. Oh, great. You know what? I'm going to go through the grass and pick up this trail. And hopefully, oh, it's a little bumpy. But hopefully, this is the trail now. Really strange, but part of the adventure. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see if my GPS is happy now. I'm headed in the right direction because I got to go to Palmyra. The canal goes this way. I mean, I can't get too far off track. So we'll see if this is going to point me in the right direction. But I believe it is. It's just kind of far off the far off the canal. It says I'm off course. Of course it does. Where the heck is the canal trail? Okay, well, let me look. All right, well, pause this here. Okay, well, after further conferring, conferring with my GPS, it uh, got its act together and said, oh, wait, you are on the trail. Never mind. So, back on the trail, it was this... Yeah. Uh, signage, not great. And someone probably should... Uh, make a better sign but that's all right like I said I know I got to go this direction I know the canal is right over there so I can't really get too far off track it's not that possible but anyway Palmyra coming up and then uh, uh, I don't even know what's after that but I'll take a stop in a little bit and see how I'm doing mileage wise okay I made it into Palmyra uh, Muddy Waters Cafe right here and I've got to go across the bridge which apparently this is pedestrians and bicycles only this is uh, Division Street Bridge so it's going to take me to the other side of the canal for a little while and uh, then we will pick it up on that side of the canal you can see the canal getting ready to go over it now. So one more bridge here. I don't like riding my bike over these bridges with my little skinny tires. It's just kind of big grates. But anyway. Uh, all right. So apparently not for motorized vehicles anymore. And should be the trail right over here on the right. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, well I'm about two and a half miles outside of Lyons, which is my final stop for the night. Got a little sunshine on my back. Got the wind at my back. Which is good because I'm uh, 20 miles in. I don't know how many miles in. I'm like, uh, let's see, 46 miles in for the day. Which, you know, is big for some and not for others. It's big for me. So my uh, my butts are hurting. My back's a little sore. I'll be happy to get there and set up my tent, get some dinner, and just kind of chill for a while. But anyway, it was looking really pretty along the trail, so I figured I would fire up the camera and just kind of give you a little view of what it looks like a little bit west of Lyons. Good morning from Lyons, New York. This is where I stayed last night. That's the fire station right there. And I pitched my little tent right behind this little garage there which is actually really nice because the uh, wind was coming from the west which is this direction and it made a nice little windbreak um, it didn't stop the rain from falling last night 
So there was a bit of rain that came through, but this is a nice little area right here. There's actually a, a little deck, and uh, there's my nice wet bike. And you can see that I'm right here near the canal. So it's a pretty little spot. There's a couple places to eat across the river there. Okay, quick battery change. My GoPro lied to me and said I had 50% power, but I did not. So anyway, it's a very nice spot. There's a bar and grill over here. There's some live music last night, but it wasn't too bad. So anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, to break down my camp here. I've emptied out my tent, and I just need to break it down, fold it up, and then I'll probably hit the McDonald's across the uh, canal there, grab some breakfast, and then push off to Camillus. I don't even know what day this is. I think it's day four. <laughs> I think it's day four today. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you down the road. Okay, so day four started off pretty good. I've got some sunshine, pretty clear skies. The breezes are lighter than they were yesterday. I'm still at my back, so that's a good thing. Um, I think there's more road cycling today. It may be like half road cycling. I was trying to figure it out from the maps. Uh, it kind of, the trail kind of drops onto a road then back onto a trail, then onto a road, and back onto a trail between here and uh, Syracuse. So we'll see what it has in store for us, for me. And uh, yeah, but in the meantime, I've got this uh, nice kind of a bluestone paved path here next to, this is not the navigable canal here next to me. I think this is maybe the original old canal because they did do a uh, redig on the canal to make a much wider waterway. And this ain't it. So this might be the old canal. But anyway, it's a uh, nice morning, a little chilly, but uh, not too bad. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be one of those days where I'm having to switch in and out between layers but I can deal with that I was supposed to stay in uh, well not supposed to I was hoping to stay in Syracuse tonight but there must be some sort of event a like football game or something going on because the hotel rates for everything were through the roof like you know $350 for like a red roof in that's it's a little out of my price bracket so I will be uh, setting up my tent again and this time at another firehouse so I'll be at the Camillus firehouse I just have to remember to give the gentleman who gave me the green light a call today and uh, yeah so we'll pass through a few towns today and stuff, but uh, I don't know if there's anything of note, but if there is, you'll be sure to know that I'll turn the camera back on. So until then, time to get pedaling. I just thought I would add a little lovely autumn flavor to the video since I'm riding through this really pretty canopy trail path. And the color has started turning here. Supposedly it gets even more vibrant as I get further east. We shall see. But hopefully the uh, the camera picks up how pretty this really is. Got a dog walker up there. Most people walking their dogs have been really considerate of the the bikers. They kind of heal their dogs close. And if I'm coming up behind, I usually give them a lot of warning, ringing my bell. Oh, that little guy's excited to see me. 
<laughs> He's excited to see me. Hi, have a good walk. Thank you. Overall, really nice people on the trail here, just in general. <clears throat> All right, well, that's enough beauty for right now. I will get back to this later. Okay, so the trail kind of dips out of the woods and then pops up onto what's known as, I guess, Old Route 31, which doesn't look like he gets a whole lot of use hopefully that's maybe because people are on new route 31 i don't know but anyway there is signage and uh you just kind of keep following the uh the empire state trail there's not really any Erie canal trail signs because you're not on the canal right now but the Erie canal trail is part of the empire state trail so if you follow the Empire State Trail signs, they will keep you on track. But right now, I'm on a very desolate road that's paved, and uh, that's A-OK -okay with me, because that just uh, makes the ride a little smoother and a little faster. All right. I think this dips back on the trail in a mile or so. But for right now, I'm just gonna enjoy a little bit of smooth pedaling on old Route 31. Okay, a little on-road finagling across the bridge, across the canal, and it brought me into the village of Clyde, which is a pretty little town. Very lovely. Um, the trail kind of parallels the canal path again from here. So I'm just grabbing a quick water break. And now I'm going to go back. I'll tell you what, the wind it was really protected inside the woods. Now, the wind is blowing pretty strong. So I've kind of got my rain jacket on using it as a, a windbreaker. And uh, once again, though, luck is standing by me that the wind is at my back and not my face. All right, pedal on. Well, sad to say that the trail dumps back onto the highway. This is State Highway 31, so not the old Route 31. So as you can see, there is fast vehicle traffic. Now there is a very wide shoulder here and I am staying very far to the right. And hopefully it maintains this all the way up to, I think it's Fort Byron. So. Quite a few miles to go to uh, get to a point where you're back on trail and not road. Um, it's really pretty out here, but yeah, I'm just not a road cyclist, so this stuff just doesn't really sit well with me. But I have my lights on in the back, my little blinky light on in the front. I've got my little rear view mirror on the handlebar. And now if you can see on the sign right here that this is Bicycle Route 5. So there is actually a major roadway designated as a bicycle route. Um, so if you look up bike route, bike route 5, you'll actually see that there is a very long stretch of road that is designated as a bike route, which in fairness, is probably why they have this very wide shoulder. So, like I said, I'm not going to complain. There's nobody to do anything about it anyway. Um, the only big benefit is that roads do give you some faster pedaling, but they also bring hills with them. Whereas the trails are usually much more flat. So, anyway. Hopefully this doesn't last forever, but like I said, I think it's about four or five miles on here to Fort Byron. So just gonna hunker down, use that tailwind and get on down the road. Well, after consulting my Google Maps on my uh, phone, I have come to find that 
I was way short on my estimate of this road and how long I'll be riding it. So I think the total length is about uh, 15 miles on this road right here. It's not terrible, but there are some there are some hills. There's also some downhills here, which is not too bad because I can sort of relax and hit 15 miles an hour without pedaling hard. I'm at 13 miles for the day. So I guess I'll hit Port Byron at about 25 miles. And that'll be my, uh, I'll hit that as my stop for lunch. I think I'm gonna be passing through the town of Savannah here in a couple of minutes, but it's a little early for lunch. So I might stop and have a snack there if I can find a place to sit down. Otherwise, I'll be pushing all the way through to Fort Byron along with all my vehicular friends out here on State Highway 31. Well, State Highway 31 just got a little bit more interesting <laughs> because uh, I'm about seven miles from Fort Byron and the nice wide shoulder has turned into a very narrow shoulder and i believe the speed limit along here for cars is 55. so you got this big chunky guardrail over here and i'm trying to stay close but i have this bad habit of clipping things like that when i get too close so anyway yeah not as great as it was but it's not real busy today. It is Saturday. There's not a lot of traffic. Um, the direction also changed because I was going kind of a little bit into the wind before. And now it's a little bit more on my back. And it is a breezy day. Um, I took a, uh, a rest break a few miles back and I had to change my shirts because I was just... I had sweated right through and every time I would stop, I would just freeze. But I have to wear my rain jacket because I need the wind protection. So, yeah, it's not perfect. I do kick myself for not having a windbreaker though. That would have made life a lot better. But anyway, all right, well, six and a half miles to Fort Byron and then sit down and have some lunch and then plot out the rest of my day so I'll see you in a little while oh. well I was gonna get something to eat in Port Byron or Port Byron I kept saying Fort Byron Port Byron I was gonna get something to eat in Port Byron and yeah options were slim there was a diner, but there was no place to park my bike and lock it up. And yeah. So, uh, Weedsport is about five and a half miles further down. And I did get a recommendation from a friend to uh, go to J Rex Subs. So, I think that is now on my plan. Um, the other thing is that once you get past Port Byron, it dumps you back onto a trail path about, I don't know, half mile into the town or as you hit the town, about a half mile on the other side, it'll put you back on a path going next to a little canal here, which I think is the old canal. But uh, anyway, so the new plan is to push the weed sport. I, I'm glad to be off the road for a little while. That was uh, 15 miles of 
nervousness. Howdy. So I'm certainly getting into the thick of the color here, which is really pretty. I'm not minding this at all. It was, I mean, as far as road rides go, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the scariest. And probably because I'm on a Saturday, the traffic was not super heavy. So that was a bonus. Um, but it is chilly out here. I think it's in the 40s or so. Uh, and uh, I'm enjoying the uh, tree cover here because it does cut down on the wind. Even though it was uh, coming from my backside, it's still a pretty cold breeze. So nice to kind of be out of the wind just a little bit. Whoa, hello squirrel. Just a little bit. So had a couple of suicidal squirrels that just about came under my front tire on this trip. I'm not sure what they're thinking but they're squirrels all right i'm gonna push on this comes back out to highway 31 just before weedsport and then you take 31 into weedsport and that's where i will pick up a delicious sandwich at j rex that's my plan anyway okay back to it so i picked up the trail just to the east of Weedsport after having lunch. And uh, kind of interesting, it's like a single track through here. But there is a road that runs parallel. So I don't know if you could have stayed on the road. It's a very quiet road. But I mean, this is the official trail. So I figured it'd be best to get on here just in case it takes a turn to the right and the road goes straight. But anyway, not too bad, a couple of soft spots from probably some rain last night but it's not too bad it's in pretty good condition kind of a bluestone surface so all right on to Camillus all right good morning from day five on the trail I think it's day five I'm gonna lose track today is Sunday and uh, so Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday day four <laughs> Maybe day four. One of those. Anyway, um, had a fantastic evening last night. Uh, my friend RC picked me up. So I did not have to stay outside of the uh, Camillus fire station. And he took me home and he had family over and his family was there. And we had a really wonderful evening. And it was fantastic. So... Jen and Sabina and RC, thank you so, so much. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And I got a really good night's sleep without being cold. So just win all around. So the other thing was that he dropped me on the other side of Syracuse. Morning. So I didn't have to uh, do the whole navigate Syracuse portion of the trail and I'm okay with that I mean you know some people are like well you didn't do the whole trail because you skipped part and I'm like that's okay I don't care so he took me over to the western or the eastern side of the city to drop me off at the trail so I'm over here by the Erie Canal State Park and you can see portions of the canal over here to my right. There's people fishing and doing other things and out for lovely Sunday afternoon walks. It's beautiful weather. I'm probably gonna have to take some of my clothes off in a few minutes. Morning. It's, uh, it's still windy. That wind has not stopped, but it is still coming from the same direction, so primarily at my back and uh, the sun is out so I might uh, ditch the pants stick with the shorts 
and see if I can do that. Like I said, I'm just killing myself. I don't have a windbreaker because that would be perfect. Morning. Hey there. But I think uh, that'll be my first order of operation is to uh, find an easy place to stop where I don't have to lay the bike on the ground and then uh, shed a layer or two and see how that works. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day along the canal and the colors are popping and the people are just out enjoying the day. So I still have a lot of pedaling to do, about 50 miles or so. And uh, I was planning on camping at one of the locks tonight. Morning. But um, it's supposed to get kind of cold tonight. Oh, turtle right on the side. That was a snapping turtle, too. But um, anyway, I kind of looked. Um, there's a canal at Marcy, Marcy, um, New York, and just past Marcy, there are quite a few hotels. Oh, I hate these. Oh, the roots grow up underneath the path and create these little hard to see bumps, which can play havoc with you if you don't see them coming. Anyway, just past Marcy, there's hotels. And I think I might uh, get myself a cheap hotel room tonight just because it's supposed to get down to about 35 tonight. And that's probably a little bit colder than I want to be. So I didn't plan for that Arctic cold. <laughs> 45, 40 to 45 really is my lower temperature limits right now with the gear that I have. And uh, like I don't have down booties or anything like that. So when it gets really cold, um, I don't get very good sleep, which means I don't have very good performance the next day. So yeah, definitely be looking at a hotel for tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes as I get closer. Anyway, a couple of towns in between here and there. So we'll see what happens. I have half my sub left from yesterday from uh, j Rex Subs. So I have lunch already with me. So I don't need to find a place. I can just pull over and have a sub in a few hours. All right, trying to shut up and pedal on. <laughs> 